Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new videos every Thursday, primarily on Tumblr tutorials, but I do do other things. So when you are done watching this video, go ahead and jump back on my channel and see some of the other fun things I've done. So you've probably noticed if you follow me that I have a different background and guess what? So I left the house this morning and realized I didn't do the intro for the video that I'm editing today to get out to you tomorrow. So I am in an office for a coworker who is not in today. So I'm using this to say hello and do my intro on this week's video, which is going to involve alcohol inks, the Tacket method, and applying a tattoo. So if you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I start prepping the cup by sanding it and wiping it with 91% alcohol, then go ahead and spray paint it my base color, whatever base color you're gonna use. In this case, I used metallic silver and I used matte white, but I'm just showing you the matte white. I'm not gonna show you both. Okay, so I am working with two skinny ounce straight tumblers. One I spray painted metallic silver and the other one I spray painted white. So the first one I'm going to work on is this metallic silver. And I'm using these three color alcohol inks and I will be using them on the same tumbler. So when I, or the same colors on each tumbler. Sorry, stumbling over my words. So when I started this video out, I had every intention of just doing one tumbler and I have a tattoo that I was going to apply to this tumbler over top of these alcohol inks. And so what I did was I applied these in their full strength and you can see these colors are pretty bright. And so my thought process was that I was going to tack it the glitter color fresh snow which is a white opalescent it's very pretty it's a fine glitter and it tacks down really really nicely and my thought was that it was going to mute the color so that uh it would be light enough to apply this tattoo that is kind of a has some pastel colors in it so i went along and i just applied these inks and i would you know i'm loving the colors as they're going on and i'm like oh they're a little bright but you know i think that they'll they'll tone down a little bit well i was wrong in that but that's okay because you know sometimes you need to experiment and find things out and i've done a lot of alcohol ink and i've done a lot of tattoos and um you know, I, it's been a while, so I wasn't remembering that the alcohol ink would not mute as much as I would want it to underneath the white opalescent. But it's okay. Like I said, we can fix this because that's what I do. I wind up making mistakes, a lot of times happy mistakes, but I spend some time figuring out how I'm going to fix it and make it look good or right. And sometimes I just cover it up. So I... Uh, applied these alcohol inks and I'm using these foam brushes. You can use a regular brush. You can use a foam sponge. There's no right or wrong as to how you apply this alcohol ink. If you want the wood grain effect, uh, then you would go more with a chip brush. I wanted a smoother effect. I really didn't want to go wood grain. And I just sprayed, not sprayed, I just like sprinkled the alcohol ink directly onto the foam sponge and applied it and then went back and forth until I blended the colors. I didn't want, I didn't want a harsh transition between the colors. I wanted to kind of blend them as much as I could. could. So you could also use regular alcohol, 91% or even 70% works too, to blend between the two colors if you wanted. I figured I would just use the colors again. I was going for, I wanted lighter, but I thought maybe it would be muted. So, all right, so I'm pretty much done with this. I did not wait a very long time for this to dry either. And so uh, the reason why I didn't was because I knew that the tacket that I'm putting on here would blend the colors too. So they were gonna go and blend as well as my blending. It, it's a weird thing, my thought process. So, uh, but what happens is when it's not completely dry, like it's been drying for some hours, it does get a little bit on the brush and then it just, it actually just kinds of meld, melds the colors together better. So complementary colors work well. If you have opposing colors, not so well. So uh, if you're not used to, uh, if you're not used to working with aliens, tack it over and over. It is a glue that goes on white and tack or white and dries clear and tacky and that's what you want when you're doing the tacket method i've done a lot of tacket method tattoo tumblers 
or a lot of tack it method tumblers so you can check out others on my channel so after this has been drying you want to make sure that your tacket is very dry that has been drying for at least 10 to 15 minutes you do not want it wet otherwise when you're doing this your glitter will clump and you do not want that that's not the look you're going for so i'm using this color by glitter makes it called fresh snow again i had mentioned it is a white opal once you get that on there what you're going to do is just tap off the excess with something and then you're going to rub it in with your hand you can use your hand your gloved hand plain hand you can use a silicone brush it doesn't matter this glitter tacks down so beautifully it doesn't take but 30 seconds to get it all nice and smooth and you get that beautiful opalescent color but it was at this point that i had realized you know what this is not very it's not very light and i do, i knew this tattoo is not gonna it's not gonna show up and i did get a fingerprint in there so i gotta figure out how to cover that up but anyway, so go ahead and seal this glitter with polycrylic and let that dry completely at least a good hour. And again, dry times um, vary depending on your, te your temperature and humidity in your room, but I let it dry for at least a good hour. Make sure there's no tackiness, no wetness or whatever, because when you put on your epoxy, what's going to happen is it's going to cloud it up. So here I go in with attempt number two. And so I'm gonna put the colors on using this soft bristle brush instead. And then um, I'm gonna play some music right now while you watch me do that or uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that so that you can watch the process. And then I am gonna come back to narrate when I talk about how I'm gonna mute the colors on this tumbler. All right, so while tumbler two is drying, and I'm gonna let that alcohol ink dry completely before I tack that, use the tacket on it, I am going to apply 15 mLs of a quick set epoxy to tumbler number one. And I really, really love the way this looks under epoxy, but again, it's still too dark for what I wanna do. So I am planning an alternative in my brain and you will see it very soon. And once my epoxy is smoothed out, I'm gonna to torch it with a heat torch, kitchen torch to pop any bubbles. All right, so here we go. Tumbler number two. I am going to use 70% alcohol on a paper towel and I am gonna basically rub a lot of the alcohol ink off and this is gonna dull it down because like I said, I didn't want it to be as bright. I absolutely love the first tumbler, but it's not gonna work for that tattoo that I had originally planned. So this is just a matter of soaking a paper towel and just rubbing off most of it. And so if you rub it off too much and you want to intensify that color, you can go ahead and reapply. It's really weird though. I had this one spot here that wouldn't dull out. So I'm just gonna put that on the backside. But yeah, everything else dulled out exactly the way I wanted it. And I was totally happy with that. So once that is dry, which only takes a couple of minutes, oh, and don't forget your bottom too. I did my bottom. If you're not taping off your bottom and just leaving it stainless steel. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna go in with my tacket. And I'm not gonna show you that because I already showed you applying the tacket and applying the glitter. I am doing it exactly the same way. I'm just doing it on a different tumbler that is a white base and muted down alcohol inks. 
and here it is with the glitter tacked down on it so beautiful now this is exactly what i was looking for all right so i picked out another tattoo just black to put on this tumbler because i felt like the black was gonna work and i decided that once i applied this tattoo i was going to do something extra so all right to apply a tattoo make sure that you cut it down to size like i had already trimmed it off camera place it on your cup make sure before you place it down on your epoxied cup because if you try to place it directly on to the tack down glitter it'll work but it's harder to come off so i found that just do yourself a favor and put a coat of epoxy on it will come off it'll it'll come out come off much easier onto the cup and it'll be smoother so i make sure that the edges are wet really well and then after you know a minute and making it soak you go ahead and gently peel back and here you have it look how pretty that is oh i fell in love with it so i found too over time by doing a lot of these that i used to smooth it out with a paper towel and check for any bubbles but i found a wet finger works really really well for getting air bubbles moved around if you have a stubborn one you can use your weeding tool to pop it and you'll never see it i promise but i felt like i got such a better finish with smoothing smoothing it down with my fingers then giving it a very gentle rub with a wet paper towel and i mean gentle because you can like wear it down or even tear it and you don't want to do that and then I'm just gonna grab a dry paper towel and pat it, not rub it, and dry it. And then I'm gonna let this sucker dry for about an hour or two. I wanna make sure it's really dry before I come in with alcohol inks. And I'm going to color the roses on her head. And so the lighter color alcohol inks didn't work really well and that's because of a darker background. So I did have to go with some brighter colors these uh alcohol inks i bought off of amazon in a kit and of course like i do with everything else i will list and link them down below they were pretty reasonably priced and they had some bold colors that worked really really well so i'm just gonna put on some music because i'm just gonna and i'm not gonna show you the entire coloring like i'll show you the colors and when i start the flower and then i'll kind of jump uh in an effort to save time and it could be boring i don't know but anyway so i'm gonna put on some music now and i'm gonna be back to narrate when I am done coloring this in. All right, so now that I'm done coloring that in with the alcohol ink markers, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry while I apply the second tattoo. This is the tattoo that I originally picked out and wanted to use. So I'm gonna apply it the same way I applied the other one. I am going to take a paper towel, dip in water, and just soak the paper, which is the backside of the tattoo. Make sure that when you apply the tattoo to the cup, after you peel that film off, that you line it up and put it exactly where you want it to be because if you try to pull it back up once it's stuck to the cup you will ruin that tattoo so i don't remember if i said this or placed emphasis on this in the first time i was talking about applying a tattoo make sure your edges are nice and wet so that the paper lifts up and it does not take the tattoo with it if it does chances are you've ruined the tattoo because it may fold over on itself. So you want to make sure that those edges are nice and nice and wet and have released from the tattoo. So that's really, really important. This one I did good. No issues at all. It's absolutely beautiful. 
it took one final coat to make this cup done and I'll be back with my final remarks. All right, these are done. It took one final coat of about like between 15 and 20 mLs to completely cover these cups. That's the beautiful thing about tattoos is they cover in one coat because they're super flat. So this does answer the question, can you color over tattoo without sealing or epoxy or any of that? And the answer to that question is yes, because here it is. And I absolutely love the pop of color of the flowers on her head. So, and then, you know, this cup was done because this one was too dark for this tattoo. So it's a two for two for the price of one. All right, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. As always, I list and link everything I use down in the description box as well. Or did I say description for comment? I don't know what I don't, <laughs> I don't know anyway please give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe share comment I love to hear your feedback all those things help my channel to grow plus it doesn't cost you anything and don't forget to check out my Facebook group it's a craft thing as well as my Instagram is a craft thing and don't forget GMI superstars group they have fun giveaways every Sunday I will see you all in the next video bye guys